Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a stainless steel flask. I am doing this with the Recreate Vision 20 watt blue laser. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in the file that we're gonna use. So I made my width 2.75 inches and then I'm gonna refresh just so I could see the flask inside my laser and match it up just to make sure that it's a good fit. I'm going to add in text and ch change the font to one that I have downloaded to my computer, which I'll list down below in the description box if you're interested. Another thing you can do similar to cutting softwares is you can edit an image. So if it's a PNG, it will allow you to erase, take something out. So let's say this said 2023, then you can of course just erase that 2023 and then add in 2024. You can also add a contour, which is basically like a stroke around that image as you can see here. So just as an example, if you add in an SVG, it doesn't give you those same options to erase because you can actually just pick out, you know, what you wanna take out. So it'll basically, if you click on it, it will allow you to remove the lettering or anything that's, you know, not grouped together. You do want to choose your material so i'm going to go ahead and type that in however just like we did on the previous video with the wood you can also choose sort of like the grain texture that you want for stainless steel as well i did test out three different um variations of this and they I, want, I don't want to say they all look the same, but they're very similar. So I wouldn't go too far into this, except for whether or not maybe your customer or you yourself want something that's a little lighter or darker for your engraving. Um, but you can play around with those. As you can see, the side dial will change based off of the different squares that you choose. Once you select autofocus, your machine is going to adjust to the size and with the material that you're using. You then wanna press start and then it will give you your processing time. You will press send and then it will allow you to press the button on your actual machine. So this is my final product. I am still working on the settings for the powder coated cup, so like the Stanley cup and the flask. Uh, so I was hoping to have it, but we have had a storm here in California. 
Um, so some things have been a little bit delayed, but those will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.